Hello, YouTubers. I know this isn't an MRE review, but I've always was curious noticing the do not overfill. My curiosity is getting the best of me right now. My question is, is what would happen if we did overfill an FRH? Well, tonight we're going to answer the question. So, I got an FRH. I got a bowl I'm going to stand it up in. I got one pint of salt water. And I'm going to go ahead and put the bowl on my grill in case a big reaction happens. Hopefully it doesn't burn my house down. I don't think it will, but... Anyway... I'm going to hand the camera over to my son. So, got the salt water. I got this side on. A little ADD moment. I'm seasoning some iron skillets. Opening it up. And I'm kind of wondering how much should I put in here? What do you think, son? Should I go up about there? So I really, really saturate this sand. Something major might happen. Something it might might not happen at all. So here we go. This is warm salt water, by the way. Whoops. Oh yeah. Here we go. Let's just fill it right up. We'll go ahead and see that quick. I see some bubbling going on. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's it's full. Now this FRH is it's a few years old, so I've had I've had this since I was on the road and that was four years ago. So we'll come back, see if anything happens. Uh we'll give it probably Oh well, maybe not. You can go ahead and watch it up. How's the water? The water's not getting noticeably hotter. So. It is bubbling, though. I don't know if you guys can see that on the, can on the video. But. So there is a reaction taking place. Just wondering if it's going to heat this heat it up all. Oh, it is getting water is getting a little bit warmer. Maybe it'll boil the water. Get it nice and soaked in there. It's still safe to grab. It's not burning me or anything. Let's see, you got some bubbles. Now I heard that these things produce hydrogen gas when uh, they're doing a reaction, so. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the camera, wait a few minutes, and we'll come right back. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. Um, water's a little bit warm. I'm gonna go ahead and take its temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the infrared. 113. 113 degrees. Oh, just went to 114. Okay, we'll give about another five minutes. We'll come back and see what's going. All right, it's been about five minutes. It was 114 degrees even. Let's see what the temperature is now, five minutes later. I'm trying to adjust it to where you guys can read it. Looks like it's actually gone down. 113. Not much of a change at all. 114.2. Go up to the top. So I guess the question is, it's been probably, sorry about the shaking, probably about 8 to 10 minutes since I put that water into this FRH. It's still getting a few bubbles. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dump the water out and see if it'll start reacting a little bit more. There we go. See if that does anything. Now, let me go. now the media is actually pretty saturated, so it doesn't need any more water. I mean, it mostly takes probably maybe an, an ounce when you fill it up. So, so let's see. Let's see if dumping all the water out did anything. Uh, 106, 111, 117. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. I've got 118 there. I'm going to go ahead and pause it, come back in a few more minutes, and see if that heated up anymore. And we'll know the answer to the age-old question. What happens if you overfill a uh, FRH? All right, been about five more minutes. Let's go ahead and take its temperature again. My son's already been doing this, so. Oh, 156, 157, 137. So depending on what tier you point it at, it goes from anywhere. Oh, we've got 166 down there. So down there is the hottest. So I guess we should have done a control at first, but all is not lost because I have a fresh MR8, or FRH, excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and put the recommended dosage of water in there, and we're going to see if this heats up any faster. If I get my son to come down off the railing, and hold the camera for me. So I'm going to go ahead and set this guy up here. It's actually a grill or something. Go ahead and point at the FRH thing. Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot. I almost committed a sin. Pull, pull the uh, catalyst out of there. Out of the fill area. What, what would happen if you left that in there? Probably nothing. You just wouldn't get a right measurement. I got it right up on the top line. So I'll go ahead and get this pretty saturated. Not getting warm yet. Like I said, it don't take much water to to get these going. And again, these are like four or five year old FRHs, so they may not get much of a reaction. But I am using warm salt water, and now it's starting to get warm. Are you way back there? Warm salt water, so yeah, it's starting to heat up. And now it's starting to get hot. Okay. I'll just hold that, put that right there. Take the camera. Sorry about the movement. All right, here we are. We'll take its temperature. We're at 119, 136, 144. It's shooting up there pretty quick. All right, we're going to come back in just a few minutes. Let's see if I can get down there a little bit. 106. Sorry about the camera movements, folks. Yeah, 152. All right, we're going to come back about another five minutes, let that percolate, and then we will take its temperature again. Be right back. All right, folks, actually it's been more like two minutes. This thing's already throwing steam in that funky smell that FRHs give you. Let's go ahead and take its temperature. 200. Way hotter than that. 200 degrees. Get, let's get a little bit closer. I almost got the thermometer touching. So, yeah, we're right close to the boiling point of water. So, oh, 215. I just had the 215 right there. Okay. So, there's your proof. Now you guys know why 
not to overfill an FRH. Okay, let me take this one's temperature one more time. I'm going to get a little bit of a reaction out of this one. Well, let me take its temperature. 148. 153. Okay. Alright, there's your proof. Why not to overfill a U.S. US Army or military ration uh, FRH because it will not work properly. It won't get heated up as much. So, I... I hope this video is informative. Uh, I have some of you guys commenting on my tool videos wanting me to do more MRE videos. Um, if you guys want to send me one, just go ahead and send me a private message and then I'll send you an address and then I will do that review for you. Money's pretty tight in, in my household right now, so that's probably why I haven't been doing them. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. Have a good night.